welcome to this World of Tanks subscriber replay. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and today's video comes to us from the user Prelate 7. That's Prelate 7, and he's driving the KV1 on a standard battle on the cliff. So, right at the start of the battle, he's deciding to go up the left hand flank, either going to be pushing, sorry, right hand flank. Um, always best to refer to the flanks based off the map position because then there's no confusion depending on which way people are facing. So anyway, deciding to head up the right-hand flank, either going to circle around the rocks or push straight through the centre. Although, probably having a little look at his mini-map now and realising that all they have is two light tanks. I think it was three originally. Yeah, three light tanks pushed down that left-hand flank and absolutely nobody else has gone there for the defence. So now there's only a T-46 left and that Panzer 38. NA has pushed in and he's been taken out by their KV-1. So now their left hand flank is totally exposed so and nobody else seems to be making a move to defend that so it's left up to our man here to try and do something about it. Luckily the uh, the SAU-40 able to take out the 38 NA there. Uh, but as I said earlier there is absolutely nobody making a move to this right hand flank and they have quite a sizeable force of four tanks is that five? Could be five tanks. Six or seven, in fact. Six or seven tanks moving along this right-hand flank. And our man here has absolutely no support. As you can see, he's trying to signal on the mini-map there that he needs some backup. But again, still nobody making a move. Lands a great shot on that M3 Stewart there, moving at speed between the houses. Ooh, unfortunately not able to land the killing shot. Going to line up. No, the M3 is pretty smart and decides to take cover behind that building there. Probably because he's spotted out their artillery. So just going to have a couple of shots at the building. Try and take it out. Destroy his cover. But notices the other KV-1 pushing in. So he's probably... Nope. I was going to say he's probably going to leave the artillery to their own devices. But no, he's going to... There we go. Able to take out that M3 Stewart as he went up the hill to try and find their last artillery piece. So now he's getting pushed on by a Churchill 1, a KV-1 and a Panzer 3, 4. So he's probably not going to be long for this world. Just trying to take some cover behind this little shed here. As the rock will hopefully prevent a lot of damage from the larger tanks like that KV-1 there. Although it looks like you can probably see some of them. Oh, able to get a good hit there for 200 damage and that's dissuaded him from pushing any further. That Churchill 1 still having a go, even though he's just lost over 300 hit points. And the other Churchill 1's going to have a go now. But it looks like, luckily, with the angle of the tank, he's not really getting any damage dealt to him. Unfortunately, the Churchill 1 is a bit difficult to penetrate from the front like the KV-1 is. Ooh, one hit point left. How unlucky is that? So... Able to finish him off as well. That's two kills so far, and so far he's managed to stall out this push for quite a bit of time. Um, but amazingly, still none of his allies have decided to fall back and cover this flank here. The Panzer 3 4 is almost certainly going to have spotted their artillery at this point, just trying to lay some damage on him. Managed to take him out just in time to focus back on this Churchill 1, who was going to be trying to get around the side of the KV 1 to do some damage. Unfortunately, with those large exposed tracks managed to get himself tracked and then killed. So I'm just going to focus on this A13. Now the problem with this is that A13 is just going to hide behind those rocks there and every time the KV-1 looks at him he's going to hide himself and every time he looks away he's going to poke out and have a shot so he's kind of in a catch-22 situation here. Although he can probably... Oh, unlucky not able to take out the... Churchill there and the A13 wasn't able to poke his head out quick enough. On the plus side though it looks like that A13 with the auto loader isn't able to do any damage to the KV-1 and just popping himself back behind the rock. But then again at the end of the day if you have a look at the mini map El Man here doesn't really need to do anything apart from hold this flank as they are pushing in rather heavily on the right hand side there. So absolutely amazing piece of defensive work there. Unfortunately he's got a damaged engine and a dead driver so he's not going to be moving very quickly. So I'm just going to speed this one up a little bit. Oh, 
able to take out the Matilda there. Uh, didn't even know that there was anybody left around here. So Churchill won. Not sure what he thinks he's going to achieve, but then again, he can't really get back and defend the base, so just going to have a go at the KV-1 here. So absolutely amazing piece of defensive work there, Poking him, putting himself between that brick shed and the rocks there, cutting down the... Um, the places where the enemy could actually score hits on him and able to soak up a lot of damage and pretty much single-handedly hold the flank against overwhelming odds. There were sort of seven or eight tanks there pushing in and one KV-1 was able to hold them off until the Allied forces were able to get in on the right hand flank and push into the base so it's just going to be that Panzer 4 left and there's no way our man's going to be able to get there with the dead driver and damaged engine so that's probably going to be the end of his game so absolutely amazing clip there from Prelate 7 thank you very much for sending that one in again holding the whole right hand flank against overwhelming odds there's no way that a KV-1 really should have stood up for that length of time against sort of 7 or 8 equal tiered enemy tanks so thanks very much to you for sending that clip in and thanks very much to everybody else for watching remember if you've got yourself a good clip send that into replay at screenreality.com that's replay at screenreality.com and i will catch you next time